Joy lives in a slum. Wait, this is what you call a real slum? Joy was starving, so she had to go into the forest to find food. Suddenly, Joy discovered a huge beehive full of honey. But the honey was way up high, and to get it, Joy had to overcome this challenge. To get the honey, Joy had to overcome this challenge. Joy happily enjoyed the honey. Suddenly, a swarm of bees started chasing Joy. Joy immediately sped off, running. What if Joy could run 100 times faster? Even though she was running really fast, the bee still stung Joy. Oh no, poor Joy's vet. Joy called her friends for help. In no time, Anger and the others got Joy to the hospital. Oh no, the doctor announced that they had run out of medicine. Anger, sadness, disgust, and anxiety had to go search for medicine for Joy.
Okay. necessary medicine and brought it back for joy. After the doctor gave her the injection, joy returned to normal. Back at home, joy and her friends threw a celebration party. Suddenly, the swarm of bees reappeared. What do you think will happen next? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Choose a dress for Riley. Please comment to let us know the answer. Riley was born in an underground cave. The dark cave is illuminated by Riley's glowing skin. The dark cave is illuminated by Riley's glowing skin. The sun is envious of Riley's radiance. The moon dreams of shining as brightly as Riley. Find this Riley. Great! This is the correct answer. One day, an earthquake struck the Earth. Riley was swept up by the water and immersed above ground. Riley felt unfamiliar with the world around her. Riley was hungry and had nothing to eat. Because of the earthquake, the entire town plunged into darkness. Riley came up with an idea. Guess what Riley will do next? Stay tuned to find out. Riley became a light bulb, illuminating the path for an old man walking down the road. 
Riley's shown her light to help the rescue team save people trapped in the mud. Suddenly, Riley became famous and was appointed as the global ambassador for mixed ice cream. A witch discovered that Riley had the beauty she had always wished for. The witch immediately sent people to capture Riley from her home. Find the right piece. B is the correct answer. You're really smart. Upon hearing the news, Riley ran away. Wherever Riley ran, she lit up the path. Riley hid behind a tree, and the tree began to glow. Riley hid behind a rock, and the rock began to glow. Riley ran straight into the forest. She kept running, running endlessly. Riley ran to a secret base. Which character do you like best? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Inside the base, there were seven aliens building weapons. Seeing Riley asking for help, the aliens decided to assist her. The aliens placed Riley inside a magical orb. While inside the orb, Riley would not glow. When the witch heard that Riley was hiding at the alien's base, the witch ordered the creation of weapons to destroy the aliens. Who do you think will win? Riley on the victory. The witch sent her army to plant bombs inside the alien's base. It didn't work, so she tried using an even bigger bomb. Still intact, how about a nuclear bomb this time? But the alien base was coated in diamond, making it indestructible. The witch returned home and began plotting her next move. What story is this picture from? As the correct answer, you are really smart. The witch decided to disguise herself as an old lady selling apples. The next morning, the witch arrived at the base and knocked on the door. Hearing the knock, Riley ran to open the door. Hungry and unsuspecting, Riley let the old lady into the base. Riley took the apple and put it in her mouth. Who does this shadow belong to? As the correct answer, you are really smart. Robot anger appeared and intervened.
Robot Anger has the ability to detect toxic substances. Robot Anger destroyed the apple and activated the safety door to protect Riley. Seeing her plane fail, the old lady transformed back into the witch. She returned home to practice her magic. She trained in 7,749 psychological manipulation spells. This time, her advanced magic was able to fool both Robot Anger and Riley. Find the Riley difference. Great! This is the correct answer. Riley, under the witch's control, grabbed the apple and ate it. After that, Riley was poisoned and fell unconscious. The witch rejoiced as she prepared to take Riley's glowing skin. Luckily, the seven aliens returned just in time and saved Riley from the witch. Riley and the seven aliens decided to defeat the witch. Riley used herself as bait to lure the witch in. The seven aliens waited in ambush around the area. As soon as the witch appeared, they cast a metal net over her and trapped her in the spaceship. They launched the spaceship to a planet 3,000 years away from Earth. From then on, Riley lived peacefully with the seven aliens in their base. Riley's unity with the alien friends helped them overcome all challenges and defeat the witch. When we work together, we can achieve extraordinary things. I grew up in an orphanage run by nuns. They found me on the doorstep one night, wrapped in a soft <laughs> blanket with a golden sun-shaped pendant around my neck. They never figured out anything about my family or maybe they didn't try. I have plenty of theories about my origins. Maybe I was a princess kidnapped by a witch. Or maybe I have magical hair like Rapuzzle. I've even stared at the sun, hoping to prove I have superpowers. But all that did was leave me partially blind. The other kids thought I was weird. And I never really fit in. My only friend was Sadness, a janitor who always gave me extra attention. One morning, as I was sharing yet another theory about my parents, Anger threw oatmeal in my face and said, Did you just shut up? You're not special. I shot back. I am special to someone out there. That's why they gave me this precious necklace, you idiot. But Anger lunged at me, yanking the necklace from my neck and sending the pendant flying across the floor. Shock rooted me to the spot, but fear quickly <laughs> took over, and I rushed at him. The nuns pulled him off me, while Sadness led me to her room as I sobbed over my broken necklace. I can't fix the chain, sweetheart, but I can string the pendant onto this thread so you can still wear it, she said, comforting me. Sadness, do you think I'm special? I asked, searching her eyes for reassurance. Everyone is special in their own way, Joy. That's just another way of saying no one is special at all, I muttered feeling disheartened. Well, maybe your parents loved you so much they gave you away so you could have a better life. And you're very special to me. Sadness said softly, her words shifted something in me. If my parents wanted me to have a better life, I needed a good family to adopt me. But despite my efforts, that never happened. I tried to impress the couples visiting the orphanage with funny stories, songs, 
and memorizing science facts to seem smart, but they always picked someone else. Eventually, I gave up on the hope of being adopted. I couldn't handle the rejection anymore. When I was 15, I was reading in the common room when I heard a commotion in the hallway. Stepping outside, I saw a new boy surrounded by the other kids, including Anger. They had taken his glasses and were passing them around. Anger threw the glasses aside, and the boy fumbled around the floor, clearly distressed. I couldn't stand it anymore. What's wrong with you? Leave him alone. I shouted at Anger, who was teasing the new boy. Oh, calm down. Unlike you, I'm getting adopted next week. Need me to remind you about the time I made you scream in fear? After Anger walked off, the boy smiled gratefully and introduced himself as Fear. We quickly bonded over our shared love for pickles, spicy food, and horror movies. The only difference was that I stood up for myself, while Fear didn't. Well, now you can, because I'll stand up for you, Joy, I told Fear. We became best friends, but I noticed he didn't like Sadness, the only other friend I had left. Once, when I invited him to play a board game with us, he refused, saying, I don't like the way she looks at me. She just has a bit of a squint, buddy, I insisted. Fear said he had seen Sadness scold kids and sneak out at night. There's something off about her. I dismissed his worries, telling him she was just an adult and that he should give her a chance. A few days later, I was called to the headmistress's office, where Fear was waiting with a couple. He rushed over, saying, She's the girl I told you about. You should adopt her, not me. To my surprise, they wanted to adopt both of us. Sadness was thrilled, but on the last day, I learned that only Fear was getting adopted. He told me he suspected Sadness had sabotaged it, saying she'd spoken to the couple's lawyer about me having bipolar disorder. I refused to believe him and walked away, leaving us without a proper goodbye. Years later, while working at a grocery store, I ripped my uniform and went to Sadness's room for help. She wasn't there, but while searching for her sewing kit, I found a box under her bed, stuffed with cash and a photo of Sadness with a woman who looked just like me, wearing my necklace. Inside the box were my birth certificate and letters asking about me. It hit me Sadness had known my mother all along and had lied to me my entire life. I took photos of everything and left, deciding to confront her later. That night, I ran away from the orphanage and texted Fear on Instagram. When we met at a cafe, I noticed he looked different. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Fear. You were right Sadness isn't who she pretends to be, I admit it. My parents confirmed she did talk to the lawyer about you, but I didn't reach out because I didn't think you'd listen. I wasn't ready then, but I believe you now. I don't have anyone else to turn to. Of course, I'm happy to see you, you're my best friend, and you're not going back to that orphanage. Fear took me to his mansion, which was incredible three pools, a private chef, and even a home theater. His parents welcomed me, and he helped me hire a private investigator, even covering for me when the police came asking questions. But fear had changed. The stylish suits, the slick back hair, and his eagerness to please his parents were impossible to miss. He soaked up their praise for his grades and interest. Do you even know anything about that painting you're fawning over? I asked unimpressed. Of course I do. I researched the artist and all his works. It's not weird, it's genius. Fear responded arrogantly. His newfound snobbery annoyed me, but I let it slide. The painting was ugly, to be honest. Before long, Fear invited me to a school party and picked out an expensive dress for me. He introduced me to his friends, who seemed even wealthier than him and spent the evening bragging about money, cars, and making cruel jokes about others. Midway through the party, a girl tripped and spilled soda on Fear's shoes. Oh my god, are you blind? These are limited edition Nikes. I'm so sorry. Your apology isn't going to replace my shoes. I'll just get a new pair, but I know your dad's salary won't cover them. He sneered, and his friends joined in. Something in me snapped. Seriously, when did you become such a jerk? Did you forget what it's like to be bullied? Fear's face turned red, and he pulled me aside. It's just an act, Joy. This is how my group behaves. Don't make a scene and don't embarrass me, especially after everything I've done for you. Well, well, I won't bother you for much longer, I replied, walking out. 
I stormed off, but soon realized I didn't know where I was. As I waited for a cab, I suddenly heard a noise behind me. When I turned around, a masked figure grabbed me, pressing a cloth over my face. I passed out, and when I came to, I was tied to a chair in an old shed back at the orphanage. A few minutes later, Sadness walked in. Sadness, why am I here? What's going on? Please stay calm, Joy, she pleaded. I'll explain everything. Through tears, Sadness revealed the truth. My parents had been millionaires who died in a boating accident when I was little. I was their sole heir and would inherit everything when I turned 18. My uncle was in charge of my finances until then, but had become greedy. He planned to take everything for. So, you only cared about the money. I didn't have a choice, but I truly cared about you. I just needed the money to support my family. I tried to escape, but sadness was too strong. Just as I was losing hope, the door burst open fear and the police rushed in. FBI, open up! Sadness was arrested and taken away. How did you find me? I followed you after the party and saw you get taken. I called the police and gave them the license plate number. I'm really sorry for the way I acted, Joy. I was so scared of losing my new life, but I didn't even recognize myself anymore. It takes courage to admit that. So, are we friends again? Haven't we always been friends? Oh, and I won't be staying at your place for long. I've got an uncle to track down and a fortune to inherit. I turn 18 next week. Let's go home. Rate the song. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Discuss loves reading books. Discuss can sit still all day just to read. Discuss reads without blinking. Discuss sits completely motionless like a statue. But the surrounding space is too noisy. Discuss tries their best, but still can't focus. Do you like reading books? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Discuss decided to go inside to read. Discuss closed all the doors. Discuss put on headphones. Discuss turned the volume up to maximum, but still found it noisy. Discuss decided to move the house up into a tree. The house hit a beehive, and Discuss got stung, causing their face to swell. Discuss moved the house to the bottom of the ocean. But the seawater made the pages of the book stick together. Discuss moved the house to Mars. But still couldn't read because Mars has no electricity. like to build a house? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Discuss lay down on the couch sadly. Suddenly, Discuss saw a balloon on the ceiling. An idea popped into Disgust's head. Disgust ran quickly to the store.
in a hurry, disgust ran even faster. As fast as the wind. Can you guess what disgust wants to do? B is the correct answer. You're really smart. Disgust blew up a balloon. Disgust tied one balloon to the house, but the house didn't move. Two balloons, and the house still didn't budge. Three balloons, but nothing happened. Disgust decided to tie 30 balloons at once, but the house only rose 5 centimeters off the ground. Disgust increased the number of balloons by 1,000 times. Disgust blew so much that they puffed up like a balloon themselves. Do you think Disgust will succeed this time? Great! This is the correct answer. Finally, the house started to rise. The house flew higher. It soared up to the clouds. Disgust sat peacefully in the chair reading a book. Suddenly, the sky darkened. The wind started to pick up. The wind blew stronger and stronger. What do you think will happen next? Great! This is the correct answer. Disgust's house tilted to the left. Then it tilted to the right. Disgust spun around and got dizzy. Outside, raindrops started to fall. The rain got heavier, causing the balloons to pop. Almost all the balloons first. Only one balloon remained. Luckily, the rain stopped. Choose the correct puzzle piece. Correct answer, you're really smart. Disgust breathed a sigh of relief. Suddenly, a loud boom sounded. Disgust's house crashed into a banana tree. The house landed safely.
Luckily, both Disgust and all her books were safe. But the house was damaged, and Disgust had to pay Minion for the banana tree. Sometimes, no matter how much we strive to create an ideal environment, there will still be factors beyond our control. Patience and the ability to accept the limitations of reality are essential. Instead of chasing perfection, we should learn how to adapt to the circumstances. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to bring you some fascinating questions about the movie Inside Out. Let's join with us right now. Can you guess who this is? You are so smart. Joy is the correct answer. Which is Embarrassment Hoodie? D is the correct answer. What will happen with the bell? B is the answer. Find the odd one out. This is the correct answer. What will they do next? C is the answer. You are so smart. Demo day! Who fits through the hole? Great embarrassment is the correct answer. Where do you want to visit more? Leaving your opinion in the comment section below. Whose hair is this? The correct answer is anxiety. Orange. Hello, everybody. Can you guess who is standing at the door? Nostalgia is the correct answer. Where will embarrassment put them in? Jar is the correct answer. Which one is Joy's eyes? Good job! This is the correct answer. Point out the real envy. C is the correct answer. Did you answer correctly? Find the hidden words. Let's check the answer. Who is hiding? Anger is hiding. Find three differences. Great! This is the correct answer. What is the name of this island? B is the correct answer, Goofball Island. 
Which memory do you want to keep, joy or anxiety? Let us know your opinion by leaving a comment below. Who is hidden in the picture? Anwi is the correct answer. It's very easy, isn't it? Help Envy find Anwi. This is the shortest way for Anvi to get to Inui's place. Find the oddity in this picture. The biggest difference here is Joy. Whose shirt is this? Of course, this is embarrassment shirt. It's embarrassment. Oh, we're doing a fit. No. Oh, <gasps> nope. Going high. Oh. You gotta... Keep in mind all the characters. Find anxiety's location. Awesome. You have a good eye. Anxiety is here. Do you want love to be a new emotion in Inside Out 3? Please leave your comments in the comments section below. I am truly sorry. I was so looking forward to working with you guys. Whose voice is this? Anxiety is the correct answer. I am truly sorry. I was so looking forward to working with you guys. Who is standing between joy and disgust? D is the correct answer. Is the hot-tempered guy anger? It's just until Riley makes varsity or until she turns 18 or, or maybe forever. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh. Find the correct puzzles. Good job. This is the correct answer. Find the correct hair of disgust. D is disgust hair. You are so smart. Whose is hidden in the picture? B is the correct answer. It's embarrassment guy. Find the odd out. This is the correct answer. We all finally came up to headquarters. Nostalgia. That was like 30 seconds ago, nostalgia. Find three differences. Let's check the correct answer. So that is the end of the video today. How many questions did you guess correctly? Let's tell us in the comment section below.